bolting their doors and windows shut, and stockpiling food and water. Puerto Ricans braced for the passage of Tropical Storm Dorian, which is expected to reach hurricane strength before making landfall on the U.S. territory. I'm buying water for the storm, so we're prepared and it doesn't take us by surprise like last time. Authorities have declared a state of emergency, warning of possible landslides, power outages and flooding, while urging those most vulnerable to head to emergency shelters as they hoped to avoid a repeat of Hurricanes Irma and Maria. I trust in the people of Puerto Rico. We're ready, we're going forward, we're going to wait and see how this emergency situation unfolds and we're going to be better prepared. In 2017, Puerto Rico was hit by back-to-back -back hurricanes that killed around 3,000 people and caused billions of dollars in damages. The island was left deeply scarred by the tragedy and has since struggled to recover. It continues to rely on a shaky power grid that's prone to frequent outages, while some 30,000 homes still have blue tarps instead of roofs.